yeah, I understand what you're saying. So shouldn't we just cut everything here so that the upper jaw can come forward? Well, you answered your question by asking your question. So my question would be, if the upper jaw can come forward without cutting this, why would you cut it? The most protraction I've ever seen uh, have been in cases where these were not cut. And many of the complications that I have seen and failure to expand completely um, have been in cases where this has been cut. I've looked at many patients who have done it. I've looked at many patients who haven't, and, and I have seen more protraction in patients who haven't that had good mobilization of the suture as the entire maxillary complex moves forward. Everything lengthens. It's not just here. It's not just here. It's not just here. The entire maxillary complex is lengthening and stretching and bending at all of these sutures versus trying to have almost an artificial separation of the maxilla from the pterygoid. Another good question. You guys, honestly, you guys ask better questions than a lot of the docs that I chat with or, or lecture with.